Hello world, this is Matthew C. Horn, motivational speaker and author, bringing you a powerful message on the opportunity in the recession. The recession has been with us for quite a while now. It's a fixture on every television station. Joblessness, utter despair, hopelessness are words that we hear on a regular basis in terms of the condition of our economy. But it is my belief that there is a silver lining of opportunity in this recession. The ability to create your way is right here at your disposal. Recently, President Barack Obama, in his LinkedIn town hall meeting, made a quote that rang true inside of me in terms of being able to create our life and do it our way. Of course, President Obama was elected as the savior for the economy, so naturally in line with his position, he was asked questions about the economy. Every question that came his way was in regards to will the economy improve, about the, the slight changes that we've seen, the forecast, the future of the economy. And essentially, President Obama told America and the world that even though we have experienced some changes, there's really no clear end in sight, he said in so many words. But then he said this, which I believe is the answer to creating your way in the recession. He said American success is premised on individuals having an idea, going out there and pursuing their dreams and making a whole lot of money in the process. That's great. This is what makes America successful. Essentially, he was saying, look, listen. There really is no end in sight. Your best bet to create your life and do it your way and break the glass ceiling is to simply go out and create something for yourself. As an American president, sometimes messages have to be disguised, but the order of what he said made it very blatant when he was trying to get across. He was essentially saying your best bet is to go out and live your dreams and create your life and do it your way. You can never be afraid to go out and pursue your dreams. Just think of it. You would never fire yourself. When you pursue your dreams, you live and you die with the outcomes that you create for yourself. Imagine how many people have you seen that have lost opportunities that they didn't create for themselves. I personally have seen many friends and many family members lose their income and lose their jobs with no notice and sometimes no rhyme or reason, just pure as a result of the economy. But imagine if all of these people that we've observed had something else going for themselves when they lost their jobs. It is my belief that some of the best opportunities that we will ever encounter are the ones that we create. Now, one question does remain. What will you create? If you really think about it, looking at us as human beings, we are the only species on the planet that can one consciously choose and two consciously create. So we have two choices in life. We can either wait for opportunities that we have to subject ourselves that we have no control over or we can take a powerful and bold step and create the opportunities that we see within ourselves. And some people may say, well, listen, I don't have the time. I don't have the energy. Right here on this very set, I had the pleasure of co-hosting a show with legendary motivational speaker Willie Jolly. And the question posed to him was, what do you say to people who say they don't have enough time to pursue their dreams? He gave a simple yet profound answer. He says you have eight hours to sleep. He says you have eight hours to work. And you have eight hours to pursue your dreams. What if I told you that it isn't a matter of not having the time, but a matter of not having the value of your time? What if I told you that you have the power to pursue your dreams, and if you see it being valuable enough, you will lose sleep for it. You will put all of your resource in it 
with no way of knowing whether it will happen or not, but just a pure trust and belief in yourself. And some of you may have something burning deep inside of you. And it is my desire that you go after it and trust in yourself. As a motivational speaker, I pride myself on teaching a message of self-reliance. Not self-reliance from a narcissistic or egotistic standpoint, but self-reliance from a deep-seated belief that you have everything inside of you to become everything that you were destined to be. From a standpoint of being sold on yourself, Dr. Wayne Dyer says, when you choose to trust in yourself, you are choosing to trust in the same wisdom that created you. Friends, your dreams and desires did not just appear inside of you from the clear blue sky. There was a design to why you have dreams and you have desires and visions inside of you. They were given to you so that you would pursue them independent of thoughts of the outcome. Just pursue your dreams and don't be afraid to hear the word no. In route to your dreams, you will hear the word no. But an accumulation of no's creates an understanding of how to create a yes. Friends, all I'm asking you to do is give yourself a fighting chance in this economy because you have the power to not just create your life and do it your way, but you have the power to do it now. Friends, never be afraid. Go after what's inside of you and create it. Don't contemplate it. Observe the gift of being able to create. It's a powerful, powerful gift. And when you use it deliberately, it can take you to places that you've never experienced.